Hello and welcome back. So guys here in this class I'm just gonna teach you some more interesting thing about the bootstrap. Actually here in this class I'm just gonna teach you about the panel. The really interesting and great thing of the bootstrap is the panel. So first of all I'm just creating some divs here for the panel and then there I'm just creating some classes for the panel. Okay so in the main class should be the panel. What is the panel? Actually the space, the, the specific space for uh, creating some kind of panel I'll just show you in the practical way so you will understand this better so there the panel is tiled the panel I'm just choosing the panel default for now okay now I'm just going inside the panel there are three things we can create inside the panel the panel header footer and the panel body so the first one should be the panel header okay the class I'm just setting the class here the panel sorry panel uh, oh wow there shouldn't be the header actually the heading I just forgot the actual spelling by the way so the body panel body and then the panel footer definitely I just basically created the panel so in the header I'm just typing panel header panel heading okay but for the typing we can type anything is a text and in the body I'm just typing panel body and the footer area what I'm just gonna type is a panel footer save and go to the browser and refresh now this is the thing the header footer and the panel body looking really perfect but really simple this is actually the panel so if you just want to uh, create a small panel then definitely you have to create some kind of uh, uh, columns so I'm just gonna create a column here to showing you that we can create the small panels as well actually the panel is completely dependent on its pan parent so there the 4 okay call MD4 and then I'm just cutting this one and pasting inside the column save and then refresh now this is the small form of the panel definitely looking perfect well this interesting thing is we can change it its styles for example I can use the info now looking like the info the footer is still in the gray form the white gray form but the border and the header is in the info form warning refresh now the warning one well I'm just copying this one and just pasting in the same uh, not in the same actually I'm just copying the whole column okay and pasting just after the previous ones and then here I'm just updating it typing in foo saving and going to the browser and refreshing this is the another one now what I'm just going to do is again duplicating and then here it should be the primary save and refresh okay so there the only two more are left so I'm just copying this pasting two times so this one is the primary I'm just changing and typing danger and for the last one I'm just typing success okay save and refresh now these are the different panels we can create but the other thing the special thing in the panel is I'm just going to the next raw there just after this column one here I'm just actually creating a different raw okay raw and there I'm just simply creating another div okay and this should be the column there I'm just creating the MD10 okay MD10 and adding in space and the offset if you just remember that we can use the offset as well wait for a while column MD offset 1 okay I just applied the one offset it means I just want this column start from the wait for a while remove that and that now just add in space now this is what I just wanted to create refresh now you can see that it's looking like in the center because it's just started after the first one's column which actually done by the offset and then definitely it's only 10 so the first the one column is there and the one column is there and the main element is in the center looking perfect the other thing is if you just copy this one and paste after the same element and refresh now it has a lot of distance because they are different two panels but if you just create a panel group this is what I just want to teach you in this class or in this um, session by the way whatever you can say the panel group 
so now inside the panel group what I'm just doing simply cutting the both panels this one and this one cut the both of them and paste inside this panel group and add a tab and refresh now you can see that the extra space has gone a very few space is there that means the panel group is working perfectly and I hope you understood all the things about the panel so we'll learn some more things in the next class stay tuned and goodbye